Today, the task force has deliberated carefully and decided to raise the risk assessment to Doscon Orange. We have earlier confirmed a case of novel coronavirus infection on 5th February. This is case 29. Our investigations over these two days have not been able to establish a link to previous cases or any travel history to mainland China. Today, as of 2 p.m., we have confirmed three more cases. And while investigations and contact tracing of these cases are ongoing, there are as yet no links to previous cases or travel history to China. Globally, we have also seen an escalation of the situation. Hong Kong, Japan, South Korea had previously reported cases of unlinked local transmission. We have been preparing for this scenario and we are ready to manage the situation. The key is quick detection and limiting further spread. Several of the locally transmitted cases were detected through our hospital's enhanced surveillance, despite the fact that they had no travel history to China. As the hospitals continue to remain on high alert, we expect to see more such cases emerge. As a response to these local cases without any apparent links to previous cases or travel history to China, we have stepped up our risk assessment from Doscon Yellow to Doscon Orange. Since last month, the government has implemented a series of defensive measures to reduce the risk of imported cases and community transmission, and we have progressively strengthened these measures as the situation evolved. These include border controls to reduce the risk of importation of cases, detection and isolation of cases, and close contact tracing, active case finding for similar cases, enhanced personal hygiene and environmental cleaning, and heightened measures for vulnerable groups such as children and the elderly. With the transition to Doscon, from, from Doscon Yellow to Orange, we will put in place additional precautionary measures and Minister Lawrence Wong will share more later. We are closely monitoring the situation and we will further ramp up measures if necessary. I understand that Singaporeans are anxious, concerned, and there is much that we do not yet know about the virus. New information is emerging daily. We expect that this is likely to take time to resolve, maybe months. Life cannot come to a standstill but we should take all the necessary precautions and carry on with life. We will do our best to contain the situation and keep Singaporeans safe. At the individual level, we should protect ourselves by washing our hands regularly with soap and water and avoiding touching our face. As a general good practice during this period particularly, instead of a handshake, try alternative ways of greeting one another. Let us unite together to keep one another safe and do what we can to contain the spread of the virus together.